Alrighty, welcome back. This is Aussie Gamer 17 and we're playing some more Red Dead Redemption 2. It's my 100% walkthrough. We're getting all of the uh, achievements or trophies for the single player content. Alright, now, here we are in our little makeshift camp for Chapter 5 on the island of Guama. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. Got a few little things that we can pick up before we uh, continue on. Uh, there's some rum there. Should be another one over here if we can pick it up. Yep. That's going to come in handy for Dead Eye. And then if you head over here, we can pick up some food and things like that. Because we, we don't have our satchel, so we don't have our goods. Or we don't have our normal satchel anyway. All right, now, what we're doing for this run, we're about to, uh, if you look at the map, you've got, not finished looting yet, but I thought I'll just explain a few things. We've got two missions to do. One is to go and help some workers that we met in the last video. And the other one is to go and speak to Dutch. It's not telling us what it is just yet, but that's in order to rescue Harvey, which I think is definitely far more important. So that's what we're going to do. Once we do one of these two missions, the only, the, other, the only other mission available will be the other one. So for our, in our case, we're going to do this mission and then we're going to have to do this mission. But once we start this mission, it's going to set us off on five missions back to back without being able to uh, stop, save, you know, reload things, uh, go and stock up on anything. We have to just do the five missions back to back to back. Um, so I'll show you how we do that. We're going to go for a number of gold medals, or at least we're going to try. There's at least one of those five missions where I'm not going to bother. Um, if we do need the gold medal, we'd come back for it um, on a replay. It's just... Uh, it's uh, a lot of trouble and to come to sort of do it on this playthrough might be a little bit uh, difficult. Anyway, you'll see what I mean when we get up to it. Alright, over here we're just picking up some ammo. And the other thing we can pick up here is, hang on, I want to just make sure, yeah, drop Cattleman Revolver for Volcanic Pistol, yeah, we'll do that. That's going to be a more powerful gun for us. And we can pick up the Double Barreled Shotgun as well. And I never noticed something over here before. Oh, Pistol Cartridges, that's handy. Alright, and... Did I get the tonics while I was talking? Yeah, make sure you get the tonics that were on this uh, little thing here. So we've got that. We've got the food. We've got the ammo and the guns and the rum. Okay, good, good, good. All right, we're going to head straight for Dutch now. Got everything I want. Head down this way. And we'll head towards this new mission. Okay, so I'll put the conditions up on the screen for this one. They're pretty simple. We have to get Javier to safety in under two minutes and we have to get 10 headshots. So just the two conditions. Um, have I got myself lost? No. No, we can get there this way. Okay. Gotta go find Dutch. Rescue our buddy Harvey. Yeah, so, a bit of a full on part of the game in terms of missions. Just, uh, it's gonna go and go and go and go, really. Now, I like to head across here. There may or may not be an easier way to get to Dutch, but if you find yourself stuck down in the river down here and you think, oh, I gotta get up there, just go this way. Climb these rocks. And there's Dutch waiting for us. There we go. Hi. So, uh, what's the plan? Well, I found the cave Herr Cool spoke of and also a guide. <laughs> I think we can trust her. Follow me. The entrance is along here. Just watch your footing. 
All right, so no time constraints at this point. I'll uh, make sure I make it clear when that is. And other than that, we just need 10 headshots. Well, we're gonna get the hell out of here. Man, set sail for the one place. Ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Get everybody together and get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. <laughs> you wanna go back to Sandiny? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd want it, but I wouldn't expect it. That's the point. Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come back from the dead, gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected. Hey, Arthur, you can't leave everyone behind. Something, cause you hmm. gone, friend. You gone, friend. We look like what we are. A bunch of desperados on the run. But with the women, a change of clothes? <laughs> We're a choir, or a gang of pilgrims, or something. Whatever you say. A bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump, sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. Why? Gloria! Ay, estas tarde. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Dinero, the money, the gold. Aquí. Dámelo. Oh, it's genuine, you old hag. <laughs> vamos, vamos. Rapido. That, Rapido. There. That's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is at the bottom of the sea. Exactly. So yeah, all straightforward so far, guys. We're just following. Follow along. <coughs> Nothing to worry about yet. You know, wasn't Fusar one of the fellers Bronte pointed out to us? At the party in Saint Denis? Yeah, you're right. I knew I'd heard that name before. So did you deal with those workers for Hercule? Not yet. I will. But you don't think he's just using us? Almost certainly, but we don't have a lot of choice. He's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John in that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Hmm. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I, was I liked Lenny. The roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos in the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos. I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. Nor am I quite, but that many Pinkertons arriving like clockwork once again? So he's thinking that John is uh, a rat or something. I doubt it, very much. The door is stopped. Pardon me, my queen. All right, just walk up to the door. Arthur, come help me with this. When the game lets us. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then. We got this. Up on the left stick and tap an A. Simple. I don't like her very much. Notice Arthur's coughing a lot too. Then you pay more. Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. Dutch. Yikes. What are you doing? Oh, Jesus. Easy, Dutch. What was that? 
Horrible old crone. But you killed hmm. She was gonna betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She was. You keep killing folk, Dutch. I am just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? Neither of them are looking too good at the moment. Yes. Listen, <clears throat> son. You think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive. No matter what. So how did you know she was going to betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes, in the way she was leading us. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings, Arthur. <laughs> Are you going to strangle me next? I'm doing the best I can. I come from Mexico. I never met those men. Does anyone believe him? Oh. Mr. Simon doesn't believe you. Uh -huh. Even the mule doesn't believe you. <laughs> They've got Harvey. Oh. Eso, Mr. Paratán. Si que deja de actuar. Sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte. Fue bastante duro. I like it. No. La próxima vez será aún más duro. <laughs> Bueno, ha sido un placer. Siempre me encantaron los mexicanos. We're gonna save him. Don't worry though, the, the two minutes doesn't start yet. Okay, we we'll follow Dutch for now. When, uh, no, actually. I'll tell you when it gets a bit closer, when the two minutes is going to start. Got a couple of things to do before that. We need to deal with them. Well, I'm sure you got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. All right, we're going to stealth kill the one on the right. On my count, you take the one on the right. You can watch Dutch here, and he'll do a count with his fingers. Three, two. One, go. There we go. You can actually do it earlier and okay. he'll say something silly like, oh, so much for the count or something. But I think that was cool. All right. Pick up the other guard and follow Dutch again. And dump him over here. Get out of the way, Dutch, so I can put him down. Alright, you can actually loot these two as well. Got time. Now, go back and follow Dutch again. ourselves a little distraction and then poof we will disappear just follow Dutch again get cover on here We've got two guys here wait for Dutch to walk okay. out you take the nearest one on the left. I'll deal with his friend. And then follow. Uh, out we go. Turn left. And we'll do a stealth kill on this guy. There we go. Make sure we loot him. Over here. And then there's some ammo here. You can grab that if you need it. And now we want to go and loot the other guy as well. Okay, now we need to create a diversion. Oh, uh, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff up. 
<laughs> exactly. All right. Oh, no, we Head over to these bags over here. And lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh, yeah. Press Y. We'll make a hole in this one. You'll see. Go closer. And then head over here. Use these shutters. You just push Y and then Arthur will do the rest. And now we head up the back here. And interact with the valve. We are nearly there. All right. And then Dutch will meet us over here. Going. All right, we just head outside. Wait for Dutch. Now, when this uh, building blows up, the guards are going to run away from Harvey and they're going to um, go and check it out, at which point we are going to run over to Harvey and take out some of the guards that notice us, um, at which point... When Dutch says, all right, I'll grab Harvey, so he's going to grab Harvey, at that point, that's when the two minutes start. That's when we need to uh, rush things. Come on, we can hide behind that well. Let's go and hide behind here. So when the building blows, wait for the uh, guards to run away, and then we'll go head over to Harvey, who's in one of those cages up there. And then we have to uh, take out a few guards. All right, let's do it. So just watch for some guys that come from over here. And I actually need to take some of this Miracle Tonic just to get these guys... Get some headshots as well. Okay, once you've taken them out. Oop. Another headshot there. Ah, missed him. Another guy on the right and another one on the left too. There we go. Alright, we're waiting for Dutch to say I've got Harvey. Should be some more coming down this side. Oop. We want to get this guy before he hides. There we go. Got him. Alright. He's going to grab Harvey now. I'm going to grab my shotgun out. And there's going to be a, a guy down here somewhere eventually. And a guy at this end. Now, take some... Uh, should have some chewing tobacco. That's what we need. Head over to the left here. Take it. Oh, that, that missed him. Just got his hat. There we go. And... See, Dutch won't move until you take those guys out. So now head down this way. And just to the right. Ah, uh, missed. So that two minutes is going, so we got to make a move. Follow Dutch. Yep, let's go, let's go. Come on, Dutch, come on. Take care of him. Just stay ahead of Dutch here. Because if you get behind him, he slows down. And we'll just see, see if anyone shows up 
behind him or take him out like that? Oh, there's one. Oops, let Dutch pass me a bit there. Alright, head for the river. And hopefully we've done it under two minutes. Here we go. Cross the river. Get some cover here. Alright, now you can take your time just making sure we take take these guys out. Oops, I want to get some cover here. And if you haven't got enough headshots yet, now we'll work on our headshots. There we go. And don't forget the guys up here. Oh, I'm getting, uh, getting killed here. Get a couple more headshots there. I think that missed somehow. There we go. There's another one there. It's reloading a lot. Let's. Here we go, here we go. Another headshot there. And. Oh, missed one. There we go. As soon as you've taken them all out, it'll be the end of the mission. Is there someone there or not? Where are they? They are there somewhere. Oh, here he is. There we go. That should be the end, I think. Alright. If it all went to plan, we'll get our gold medal. Game automatically takes us back to our little makeshift camp. Here we are, let's see our medal. Ah, I don't know why it does that sometimes. Let's go into progress. Did we make it? Yes, we, saw, we surely did. Get Javier to safety in under two minutes. Get 10 headshots. Awesome, there we go guys. So two from two so far in chapter five. Okay, and from here we can actually collect a few things around camp again. Uh, we can pick up some more rum. What are our... So we would like a little bit more dead eye if we could. There's nowhere to sleep, so what we're going to do is have a look at this food area. And if there's anything we can't pick up, well then we'll eat something. Canned fruit... Right, everything's sort of letting us so far, not the canned meat. So, go into your satchel. What kind of canned meat do we have? Canned corned beef is the only one. So, it's full, so we'll eat some of that. Fill up our dead eye core a little bit, and now we can pick that one up. And the canned vegetable we can't pick up either, so let's have a bite of the uh, kidney beans. And then pick that up. And here we go. We can pick up some more tonic. Go see if there's some more ammo around this side. And shortly we'll be uh, starting the next mission uh, and getting our, hopefully going for our next gold medal. And remember, what, like I said, it is the start of five missions in a row. So make sure you're prepared for that. And we'll be getting as many gold medals as I can. Um, I know there's one that I'm definitely not even going to bother trying. Uh, okay, so we can't pick up this rum. Let's have a look if we were to... We don't really need it, but uh, stuff it. Let's just do it anyway. That way we can pick this one up. What are you doing, Arthur? Grab it. Okay. 
as we head off towards this mission now, it's time for me to put the conditions up on the screen. Now they are, we need to release all the workers within four seconds. And don't worry, that's a lot easier than it sounds. We need to complete the mission within five minutes and 40 seconds, and we need to get eight headshots. And there, they're two conditions that have uh, given me a bit of trouble. If you've been following along, you know that I'm not an expert gamer, guys. I'm not uh, perfect. I can't, you know, I'm not the most skilled player in the world, but we're uh, doing our best and we are going to get all the achievements and that's what's important to us if you're following along. All the trophies. Not counting the online stuff, of course. All right, so we just uh, head out towards the uh, question mark. And once we get a bit closer, it'll sort of reveal itself up in this direction somewhere. If memory serves. See the uh, body that you can see hanging, so just approach that. How funny that he's grabbing his neck there, if you uh, see what's about to happen. Boom. That was someone who just poisoned us with some sort of dart. If you just try and move off and uh, Arthur will pass out. And here we go. So the time starts now. Or at least after the uh, cutscene or whatever. We can't control anything just yet. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm asking you. What are you doing here? I like this bit. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Come on. I'm an American. My name is Leviticus Cornwall. Right. The game will actually tell you to look around for a way to break free, but you can't actually do anything yet. You can um, press, you know, that. So it says look around for means of escape. You gotta wait till the game prompts you to rock left to right. And at that point we'll use our left thumbstick back and forth. You do want to do it as quick as you can because we need to remember that the, uh, the whole mission is under a time constraint. Here we go. And I already stuffed it up a tiny bit, but we'll get there. There we go. And now get ready, press Y when prompted. And now press B a couple of times to knock him out. All right. You okay? I don't know. Uh, maybe there's still time to get to the other workers. Uh. Oh yeah, I think I hear voices coming from the other ruins down there. Let's sneak down and take a look. Which way? I'll show you. Baptiste, you don't look good. You should rest here. Okay, you'll need this. Now the first conditions to release all the workers, we're going to be doing it all in one dead eye. So that's why we can do it within four seconds. Stay close behind me. All right, now. We actually want to sneak ahead of him a little bit here, if we can. The gold medal on this particular mission is actually quite hard for someone of my skill level. So we're not going to waste too much time trying to uh, play it over and over to make sure we get it. We'll just give it one good crack, and if we uh, don't manage to get it, we're not going to worry too much. So we'll just hide here until Leon shows up there. It's all about not getting too far in front of him, otherwise you have to go back for him. So the thing that we have trouble with the most is either the time limit or the eight headshots. There's only about eight enemies that we uh, take care of in the uh, in the level, so we have to get all of them as headshots, really. Wait for Leon to move over here. And now when he moves forward... We're just going to sneak in behind him and then around him, through here. Oh, jeez, I nearly got spotted. And we can sneak past this opening and hide here. And wait for Leon to come past that rock. Once he's past that rock, 
we can head over to this doorway and make sure you grab cover on the left. And Leon will come and join us on the other side of this door in a second. There he is. When they start to move off, we're going to, not too early, but follow in behind them. Follow this guy initially. And then as soon as you turn right, turn right again. And what you want to do is stick to this wall. All right, now we need to get ready to free the uh, captives in four seconds, whatever that condition is. So first thing I want to do is grab some more dead eye by having some miracle tonic. And then I also want to get our gun ready. Did I do it? And then head across here. We need to wait at this point here, at this archway. Wait for Leon to join us. We're waiting for that guy to walk away, basically. But he has to get far enough away. So what we'll do here is you watch Leon. He's just having a peek there. But then the next time he goes to move forward, that's when we're, we know we're safe. As soon as he goes, we go. All right. And then head around here and dead eye. Let's get a headshot and then take out the three ropes. Miss the middle one. There we go. Okay, then I like to head over here, grab some cover here. Here we go. Ooh. Making sure we're getting all of these as headshots. Come on, game. Come on, game. Did I miss that guy the first time? Let's get this headshot. Where'd the other one go? And there's going to be one up here. Yeah, make sure we get that headshot. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't want him there. And there should be one more somewhere. Hey, we don't have time for this. Here we go. Ah, no, 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 no. We need a headshot. There we go. All right. That should be the end of the mission. Thank you, my friend. I'm Baptiste. I work with Hercule. We owe you our lives. Yes. Thank you. Yep. My pleasure. This place. Arthur is angry. Take care, my friend. Fair Everybody enough, gets too. Boat lined up to get you and your men out of here. Just meet him at Cinco Torres. We'll be there. Good, good. Here, this is for you. Thanks. It's not much, but it's the least we can do. Good luck getting home. All right. So we'll move straight on to the next mission. I don't think we got the gold, but to check, we actually have to pause the game here. Go into progress. Into story. Head across to chapter five. Nope, we certainly did not. We didn't complete it in the time limit. Says we didn't even get the headshots. I'd love to watch that back because I thought I killed them all with headshots. But uh, anyway, we're going to move on. We're not going to worry about that. We've got another mission right here that's uh, very hard to get gold on as well. A couple of these five, we'll, we'll try and get the gold. But the rest, we're really not worried. Um, if we need to, we can do it on replay. It's not like we've got all of our stuff. Fusar knows who you are and knows the price on your head. It's a big problem. Uh, I see. But if we can silence him, then I can help you escape before anyone has time to get here from America. That way, we all get what we want. We want to get the boat you promised us. And you will. But you have found yourself in the middle of a war, Mifrin. Fusar has called in the Navy from Cuba. There's no way a boat could leave right now. Hercule! Hercule, s'il vous plaît! Come, follow me. Okay, I'll put the conditions up on the screen, but they are to prevent four boats from reaching the shore, destroy the naval ship without missing a shot, and complete the mission with 70% so accuracy. This must be the boat he called in from Cuba. 
That's a goddamn bush. Okay, now, if you want to, you can head over here and grab a rifle with a scope if that makes it easier for the um, boats section. But I have had mixed results. So I'm going to do it with the uh, arsenal we already have. Now, there's no time limit or anything here, so you can actually take your time, grab some cover here. Jeez, I already got shot. And just make sure that you keep some accuracy as you take out these enemies. There we go. Alright, so he's gone, and we should have some guys over there. Oh jeez, get into cover Arthur, what are you doing to me? He's got a mind of his own today. Well, so you don't want to fire when there's all this uh, vibration from the uh, cannon fire. Reloading. Alright, try and head over to the left here. Hang on, you can go and move that, but I want to just make sure I get another headshot here. Missed anyway. Alright, we'll move the cannon. None of this is to do with gold, gold medals anyway, apart from accuracy. So there's the big ship coming in. But we're not taking care of that just yet. Ah, uh, look at that bit of a glitch. Either that or Micah was carrying two guns in his left hand. Alright, head down the stairs, follow them down, and we're going to grab a shotgun at the bottom here, right there. Oh, I ran past it. Swap the repeater for the shotgun. I said we push forward, because if we don't, we're going to die here and now. Okay, then. As soon as we can run out here, we'll turn to our right and take out some enemies. Keeping accuracy up here. Hey, 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 whoa, check that out. There we go. Follow them down this way. Ah, get out of my way. There we go. Just again, again, keeping accurate. Now when this uh, cannon shot takes out their own man, this is where the first condition comes into play. Jump over the fence here, head over here, and we've got the first boat in the distance over there. Let's take some shots, it's a bit far away at the moment. As long as you're in dead eye. There we go. As long as you take out the front two. Jesus, they're getting me good from all the way over there. So the middle one and then the uh, guy on the front, the other one jumps out. All right, head over to the other side and some more boats to take out. Reloading as well. Get this boat first. Ooh. Oh, okay. Have some chewing tobacco. And now let's get them. Right, so he's jumped out. Got at least one of them there, but I don't think we got the other one. Ah! So that doesn't count as us stopping it. So now we have to make sure we stop this one. We want to get the middle guy the most. Yeah, there we go. Alright, that should hopefully take care of it. They did not reach the shore. There might be another one over this side as well though. Just in case, we want to make sure. Where is it? No? Nah? Oh, there. There, there, there. Let it get a little bit closer maybe. Oops, missed. Stupid 
very, very... There we go. Oh no, there's still one guy, he's gonna row. So let's take care of him. It's not let me. Ah, the aiming is really hard on this. With all the cannon fire. I think he's dead. All right, we can follow them down now. Ooh. I accidentally jumped down the wrong bit, but that's okay. You can tell with no one on the beach that we didn't let any boats get on. What do we do? Two of us must go and use the cannon. You go, Arthur. I'll gladly hold them off this beach a while longer. You sure? Just certain, son. All right, so we just got to follow... What's his name? Hercule. Up to the cannon. There's no um, combat or anything until we get to the cannon. It doesn't matter how many we kill. He will have the money to get more. Watch out. So that was our way up. But that's okay. Stick with him. He got him. Head up here. We're going the back way up to the cannon. I'm coming. Alright. You just have to be careful. Don't fire when they um when there's vibrations from the cannon fire or from the ship fire. And allow for a bit of a dip in each shot. Aim with the right thumbstick. Wait for it to be calm. We're gonna shoot five times and then reload and shoot another two. As long as we don't miss. There we go, one more. Nearly missed, I shot at the wrong time. But we made it, now we gotta reload. And you know you haven't missed because if you do miss, they'll yell out, ah, you missed. Something along those lines. All right, wait for it to be steady. You got a bit of time. There we go. And one more. There we are. Boom. All right. Looking good. And that's the end of the mission, really. Come on. Or well, no more combat or anything anyway. That was quite some shooting, boys. Thank you. What now? Oh, they'll be back. But I found a boat for you. And he should be arriving on the dock any time now. Great. Micah, go meet with the captain. If he's amenable and discreet, tell him we'll be ready to set sail soon. Bill, come help me collect poor old Javier. Sure. And cool. It was a great pleasure to make your acquaintance. All right, believe it or not, we're actually controlling Arthur here. We need to move him ahead to end the mission, and then we can find out if we got our gold or not. But we're not too worried. <clears throat> Just waiting for the new mission to pop up on screen so that we know we're done. There we go. Pause it there. Check progress. Don't get our hopes up. Ah, but there it is. We did get gold on that one. So we are now three out of four for chapter five. And we could always go back and work on that one if we needed to, because it's not going to matter. We don't have much gear in the mission anyway. But there we go. Another gold. Alright guys, going to have to call that a video. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. If you're enjoying it, please remember to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and also consider supporting me on Patreon. And I will catch you all next time.